this is video seven in the series and what I'm going to do is I've brought the second compressor back to my garage because I have all my fabrication tools here. So I'm going to pick this up off this uh, pallet and pallet jack and put it up on top of this frame. So uh, anyway, so the way this works is I've got this compressor secured to the pallet with um, a Harbor Freight um, tie down strap. They say they're rated for 10,000 pounds. I don't believe it. These are thin, but they do the job. One of the problems with this one ton crane is it's really hard to get it in around a pallet because it's narrow. It's, just, it's really, it's an engine hoist. But what I figured out is that with a tall pallet, so this is like a four inch tall pallet, and the pallet jack all the way up and nothing under, no bottom boards on the pallet, and this is a two by six pallet, so I can get the crane underneath here and pick this up. And when I say two by six pallet, I mean the pallet's made with two by six boards. It's a really heavy duty pallet. I think it's actually the pallet the compressors came on. And as always in my shop, I am constrained for space. So that's just a cheat, you pull up on it, all right, I think we're there. This will get us what we need, let me lower this back down. So what's going to happen when I pick this up is it's going to swing that way because the center of the crane is over there. Just jam that in. Check the other side. The fourth chain doesn't reach. So nothing in life is always perfect. But this is pretty close. Now, one of the things I like to do is just as the load becomes live, I want to check and make sure that everything is strapped the way I think it is. It's still strapped, so I don't flip the damn thing over. There we go. We're coming on center. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift this up and put it on here. It's a little tricky, but it'll, it'll work. So, I'm going to have to go in the opposite direction. A gantry crane would make much shorter work of this, and I'm actually going to take the... I'm going to go the other way. So I only have partial reach here. And so what that means is I have to set the heavy end down first. And I'm actually not going to set it down. I'm going to lower it a little bit and push it. And the reason is, is the lower my crane gets, the farther this will reach. So I'm just gonna have to slide it across. That's the only option I have.
Now for the sake of safety, I'm leaving the chain attached, so if it did fall, it wouldn't fall very far. And I think we're good. I think we can slide it the rest of the way. So now we just gotta gently bring it this way. And in this case, this end is sticking a little bit. So rather than me fight with it, I'm gonna let the crane do the fighting. And here again, I'm only using a little bit of lift because this is a really heavy thing to get off center. And I'm actually just gonna continue that. Need something else to grab. Nope, not happening. So it needs to come over just a little bit. Yep, that's about right. Okay, so at this point what I got to do is repeat what I did yesterday and weld tabs under here. Um, I'm not going to video that. You guys can watch the other video for that. Um, and uh, then I'm going to install the threaded rods. So again, bracket, threaded rod, vibration isolator goes where my lower hand is. These go on here. It's a real simple straightforward system that I came up with that uh, secures these. There's my special one. All right, so let me do it to it and get these uh, welded and then I'll get it loaded and get it into the shop and that's going to be the fun part.